Hello everyone, this is Zero Raptor coming at you with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, last we met, we were at we we're at Hogsmeade meeting up with someone, and that someone used to be here, but now I'm gonna sleep on the floor again. All right, let's talk. <laughs> After I crash into I you. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was yeah, just puppy. at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Mm, that's a little concerning. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. Oh, that's nice. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. These names are so weird. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. But... How? Yes, very- How? How can you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. I mean, she wouldn't be burning the whole forest down as she goes, but- Well yes. done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's alright, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Do we really? Simply dangerous, that's what it is. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. What do you mean once and for all? Are we just burning them? Why not keep the egg? <laughs> yeah, that's my question. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. So yeah, egg? I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. I guess that's the fair point. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Alright, lead the way. Or maybe I'll lead the way. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Okay, that's very hard to catch if you're not careful. Because the camera angle doesn't really give much direction. Any, any hork lumps around? Oh, Ashwinders. Nice. Are we ever gonna see any ash? Oh. Hi. The poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Do they just have one egg? I would assume like dragons would have like at least three. You know, just in case one doesn't make it. Talk about putting all your eggs into one basket. It is that blood? That might be blood. 
thought was the worst that could happen. Why is there a random bag here? Ah, she's been feeding. Nice. Uh, oh, going this way. <sighs> For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Yeah, there's some wolves. <laughs> A little late there, Poppy, but good effort. Are there any nice wolves around here? All the wolves seem to be mean. Oh, pork lumps. Yes, I need more. Yeah, so nice of the poachers to keep their camp here right under her nose and make a whole village while they're at it. Yeah, she hasn't burned any of it. Interesting. Watch your step. Just want to see what's down there. Calm down. Oh, any more goodies? Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your. On the distance. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantula. So you wouldn't believe how much Violet I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo's not half bad to look I at. I see the bridge wasn't spared her wrath either. Good thing it's fixable. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps, is such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. <laughs> yeah, too many stuff going on. I was trying to read a letter. Alright, alright, fix the bridge, fix the bridge. Repair it. Fantastic. You could do it too, Poppy. I'm pretty sure Repairo is a first year spell. At the very least. So did the poachers build all this or was it already here and the dragon just have to meet nearby. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridines love sheep. How lucky for us. Well, good thing we're wearing black then. Unless there's magical black sheep. Whoa. Oh. Interesting. The game mimics the cloud lighting. Or not, I just stepped into a different area. Guess I can't climb that. But hork lumps. Oh. Dude, how far is the nest? And how am I not slipping and sliding? Watch your step. Watch your own step, me. Oh, she got down pretty easily. Here we go. Any more hork lumps? Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Any goodies in here? Yes. Sellable. Yep, sellable. I feel like the game could have done better to have me earn money rather than just give me a bunch of junk items to sell off. Quiet, what was that? Oh. Mama Dragon. Well, no like 
Okay, why are you not ducking for cover then? hide behind these wooden pallets. So nice she's taking turns to throw her fire. Oh, that way. She's not even turning around. Watch out! It's her domain. So make sure we know it. Oh, double hits now. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the next. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Maybe the crater. Yep. Welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Oh my gosh, where is this thick nest? Uh, I don't suppose you'd listen to reason. Uh, I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Ow. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Really, she's gonna leave while we just go into her nest. Why just wasted two of my wig and There's the nest. We're almost there. That seems a bit much just for returning eggs. Interesting blue spider web. Oh, pork lump. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Why is every bridge here broken? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Here, your singular egg. I see the problem. Maybe you should have made a proper nest instead of just sticking an egg on top. How to train your dragon? then that was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed oh nice she tried to i wasted two wig and wallets you know how hard it is to come up with the ingredients That's rather generous isn't it she did try to kill us the entire time only until she saw her egg at which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. Yes, I need to. I wonder how long she lived here. Or where she'll go now. I just passed by a lot of grabbables. Okay, 
think I grabbed everything I could. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. All right. Yeah. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. No I more am. Hork lumps here. After our dragon rescue at Hauntal Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I'm guessing they probably went after your gran. Oh, I'm 30. Um. Alright, I guess that's the end of the Dragon Tales. Alright. Guess next is... Sebi. Ooh, I get to learn Imperio. Yeah, it was weird how the game just like triggered his next owl. Like right when I was doing the previous quest. So that kind of spoiled me that yeah, we're gonna have a fight, but then it's like, oh, I know we're gonna make up because you're already asking me to help your with your sister again. So yeah, I don't know if the developers intended it that way, or maybe there was something up with the, the quest trigger. But yeah, not, not a good look. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. So, Seti, I know you're probably still mad at me over the whole you're here. Good. goblin thing. <laughs> Sebastian, right. that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Well, when your only options are me and Ominous, and Ominous clearly doesn't want anything to do with the relic, I guess he's willing to semi-forgive me for- th I mean, he said he- he didn't forget about mentioning the goblin friend, but again, this quest just like popped up right when I was in the middle of the other quest that I was on with him. So I think the developers need to like recode that quest line so it's like okay don't trigger until player has re completed this quest because this this next part of the quest is contingent on how that quest ends. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. It's obviously not Tom Riddle, because this happens a hundred years before Tom Riddle, but it's kind of interesting. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Oh, Ominous asked for me. Student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay and amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further if only the removal of objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I mean, what a good rule follower. Not taking the stuff out. Ah, back to tomb raiding. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I can't tell you're still mad about- Mad at me about the goblin. Of course. At least now we know we're not alone. 
in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. <laughs> Don't start. Just trying to lighten the mood. Okay, so I need. Yeah. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Uh, this room is taller than it looks. Oh. You're right. Is that a hole? Is that where the spiders came from? Anything in here? Oh. Galleons. Why are people just leaving money everywhere? It's very strange. Okay, so I need to... Then... To Leviosa. Goodies, goodies. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Ooh, I found a decor item. That'd be great for my room of requirement. another oh ew ew ewy well at least it didn't attack us onward we go oh boy I just spelody the spider. Okay. Delayed reaction there. Alright, let's see what's inside here. How dare you waste my time. Ooh, more money. Is that it? Wait, we came in that way. So, is this the way forward? Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Yeah, that's the way forward. So over here is the the way forward. I'm confused. Okay, let me check out this one first. Oh. grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Okay, let me grab up all the spider fangs. Oh, something here? Yeah, I don't like it when we send enemies in tiny spaces. Oh. Decor's blaze decorous blazer school uniform. Why would that be in a chest like that? That's so weird. Wow, that's one sturdy vase. I mean, I guess that was worth exploring. 
Gonna have so much junk to sell. Alright, time to kill more spooters. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. Seems odd. Yeah, puzzle time. All right, Sebi. What clues will you give me? There's something here by the altar. Student journal. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fee. I'll teach the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when I was lucky, I acted. Conjured, I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment. Learn the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Found it. The zilch, that's what I found. And some random cash. Oh, okay, so... Do I... Leviosa? What do I... Or there should be a spine somewhere? Stop staring at that. That's a lot of bone, that is. Okay, we got two piles of bone. Whoa. Do I... That works. Tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Yeah. Like how I'm so nonchalant. Ew. Alright, so you come with me. Oh, wait. Here? Oh, okay. And over there. Ah, creepy door. Or... Alright, so I... Oh. I need more skellies. Noise. But, uh, what about the one up there? There's a little, there's a room thing over here. Is it? Oh. Can I? Bombarda. Fine. Close to Accio. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to... There's a chest in there. Wait, do I blast this? I 
right, so how do I get in there? Is there a way over here? Or am I gonna... This is gonna loop around. I think it's gonna loop around. Sebi! Hey. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return to the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary references the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Hmm. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Seems a little too coincidental. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Way ahead of you. There's more to this than even I imagined. That's so smart. Oh. In theory. We're spiders. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Gee, Sebastian, you seem to know a lot about these uh, unforgivable curses. Does your uncle know? Why did you learn the Imperius curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Well, I mean, this kind of changes things, because Sebastian wanted me to help and I refused. He could have used Imperius on me back in the library. Hmm, sus. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. So not easy, because uh, it goes to number four. Imperio. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. I haven't really used the curse spells very much. Right, so... Wait. Mm, I don't need Repero anytime soon. Well, I've been missing out. Although I somehow doubt that would work against the the guardians. Can I How dare you show me these passageways that I can't get through? Oh. I mean, this is going to loop around, right? I just 
gotta get through all these. I thought I had the Imperial. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, calm down, Seti. They're only spooters. No, no peace. <gasps> Wigan Weld, yes. I've been reimbursed. Okay. Yeah. Chest. Ruby Chinese Fireball Scarf. Why are rats here? Seems this cascade has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. I like how we're just stating the obvious. It's uber helpful here. Okay, let me change my tab. Rather accidentally use the thunder blue. Oh, anything? Okay, this should loop around, right? I'm Fringo. Incendio. Bombarda. Fringo. Oh. What? Okay, that's weird. We didn't clear out the spider webs. And I'm no closer to getting to that unreachable chamber. Okay, I already went through there. And the way is blocked. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, these unforgivable curses are super nice. I'm guessing that way we'll unlock later. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Even though you're still mad about me about working that with worked. the Keep goblin. Going. All right, do these one at a time. Okay. That didn't yield me any more skin bones. Oh, am I supposed to do it all at once? Is there an order? Okay, so... Oh. 
Oh. Nice. More Wigan Wells, please. Okay, that looks like. Oh. Nope. So, which combination? I mean, process of elimination. Oh, there's symbols. Ha. Okay, so the Z and the thingy. Man, not bad for getting like lucky with it. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. I was just guessing the whole time. Thanks for not giving me any hints, Subby. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. More spiders. Defeat the spiders. Gonna get a bit more Wiganweld. Cash is nice and all, but Wiganweld will be super sweet. the other one. There we go. Attack! For a moment there, I thought that would never end. Does this mean they're... Spiders won't respawn. Getting a ton of fangs here. Nice. Better check the ceiling. No one ever checks the ceiling. Oh, that left. I keep seeing legs flying everywhere. There we go. Like that. Like, dude, we already blasted you spiders. Come on. Oh. Are we have to find another spider? Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. I found money. So it's not totally for nothing. Okay, so... Oh, lovely. It's the Deathly Hollows. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Sebastian, the relic. Oh. Look. That was easy. Could it be? Uh, it requires a sacrifice. Don't suppose you have someone in mind. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. 
I mean, we already come this far. It'd be kind of silly to just leave empty-handed. But I mean, if this relic is Anne's only chance of reversing the curse that's been placed on her, I mean, I feel it's worth it for us to get it, because if not us, someone else is going to get it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. I wonder if I said no. I feel like Sebi would just be like, I'm taking it anyways. Oh. Is that ominous? Is that ominous? Oh boy, here we go. Another argument. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Oh, boy. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows. I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. Uh... All right, time for me to play diplomat. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Oh boy. You're taking sides. I hate it when friendships get to this point. Be alright. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. Uh -huh. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Can we sacrifice a spider? That's still a dark sacrifice, isn't it? I mean, it didn't say it has to be a human sacrifice. It's a dark sacrifice. I feel like that's a fits the description just as well. I am curious. I want to know more about like handicapped wizards. Like, how do they navigate through the world with their disability? Wait, we just came through here. Nah. I think it's this way. Yes. Well, what happened back there? Omnis and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. But how I open this? Sender! I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. Sender! He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. Curioso. Can I crucio the columns? I aimed the wrong way. Bombarda. Ah, there we go. Sweet. So I'm supposed to hit the little pebble things. Whoa. 
Alrighty then. Uh, guess I need my Lumos after all. Lumos. Oh. I need to find a safe way across. Like I say. Sweet. Going all this way to get to this room, which I feel should be easier to get to. A vivarium landscape painting, really. Oh my gosh. That was redonkulous. A tartan classic uniform. Ah, oh, that for some syllables. Luxurious cloak. Alright, at least I don't... Okay, now we can leave. I didn't want to leave when there's like a chest there ripe for the taking. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. I mean, he kind of gave you the cold shoulder when you told me about the Undercroft. This isn't exactly the first time that he's given you the silent treatment. Just saying. I think I've had my fill of spiders for today. Oh no. I see smoke. Oh boy. This is not gonna be good. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Well, you're about to be more upset. Because I'm not liking the looks over there. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke. Over there, by the hamlet. Oh, come on, me. You can see it a mile away. How did I not notice it? Yep. Goblins. Feldkopf's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Yeah, let's hurry by getting on our brooms and not running here. I was like, just one more. Oh. Uh oh. Saved her Save sister's life. Sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. 
stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> I mean, at least she's alive. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. I mean, you could have used Bombarda. You had other spells under your belt. But I mean, yeah, you do hate goblins, so that would be the most effective spell. I mean, as a Slytherin, I, I agree. You still saved her life. And Salazar did say you gotta be not afraid to use unforgivable curses. I mean, yeah, they're unforgivable, but when it comes down to it, you just gotta pick the right spell for the situation. I don't know, I've already- I'm already in a fight with Sebi over Goblin, and then I'm trying to- And Ominous- I already told Ominous that I would try to keep Sebastian on the right path, but the path of Slytherin isn't always right. I want to agree with him, but at the same time, I've already asked Ominous so much because we said like, oh yeah, this this scriptorium will be the last dark arts thing that we're going to do. And then we go after this relic. And then I told Ominous, like, this will be the last one, I swear. And I, I know I'm Slytherin, but I don't have to be a stereotypical evil Slytherin either. Because I want to do right by my friends as well. So... All right, Sebi, we're still fighting. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Yay, I'm the diplomat. And I also need to sell off my stuff, so... Yeah. I mean, Ominous did say nothing good comes from... Oh, I was like, why are you walking with your uncle? Do you a little upset with him? Okay, I'm gonna... Sell stuff to this invisible person. Or not, since I'm in the middle of a quest, fine. Alright, let me talk to the sir. Probably ang everyone angry at me because I couldn't talk Sebastian Pardon out of me, it. Mr. Sallow? What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock Loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? That went well. I mean, if he didn't do that, then you have your brother or brother-in-law and sister or what? You would have a third family member that you would have to bury. So I'm like... I don't know. Would you rather be alone or... Sebastian? Yeah, he's in Undercroft. Okay. Can I... Can I sell stuff? Alright. I am not allowed in Feldcroft. In that case, I'm going to raid this house. Do to deserve this. <laughs> you are ungrateful, 
ungrateful and frankly unacademic. I am ashamed. Well, that's kind of harsh. I had a Hufflepuff too. Anyways, to the Undercroft. Gotta give Sebastian the bad news. So I wonder, when Anne was still going to Hogwarts, which house did she get sorted into? Did she also get sorted into Slytherin as well? I mean, given if Sebastian and Ominous were in Slytherin, then Anne should be in Slytherin too. But then she could be Gryffindor, because the way Sebastian described it, like the night that she got cursed, like she ran into a burning building trying to save people. Because they hang out here in the Undercroft, which isn't tied to any particular house, so she could be in a separate house and they could still hang out. Did you speak with my uncle? Yeah, I kind of got on his bad side too. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Fraternal twins, I mean, it's not unheard of. So, I mean, that would explain why he's so driven to cure his sister, because they're twins. That still doesn't mean that she's necessarily going to be in Slytherin either. She could also be a Gryffindor. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... We just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I mean, I guess, but Ominous isn't really on good terms with either of us either. So we're kind of in a very tricky spot. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. I mean, you got in trouble with the librarian and a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, like he stuck his neck out for me when he barely even knew me, so I do owe him that much. But I also like Ominous too, I don't want to mess things up with him as well. I feel like we make a good team, even if Ominous is kind of butting heads with Sebastian. Alright, what's next on the docket? Okay, so now... Ooh. Mm. I'm guessing she... Should I? I mean, I was hoping to get started on a meet. Level 21. I'm already level 30. It's giving me a level 21 quest, which I'm sure is going to give me level 33 enemies anyways. So I don't know why- Why is there even a level requirement with these quests? There's clearly like a particular order that I'm supposed to do them in. So I'm not seeing 
what's the point? Because not only are they in a particular order that I'm supposed to do them in, they're also like scaling the enemies to my level anyways. So having level requirements for the quest is just totally pointless. But I guess we'll see what's up with Poppy, because I am curious. I mean, clearly her, her grandma's in trouble. So let's head over there. I'm coming, Poppy. You don't have any qualms oh, about good, me using safe. dark arts, do you? Yes, safe in one unforgivable curse there wiser. You, are. you were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. Oof. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Oh boy. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Fantastic. What is that? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Just sounds like a fancy hummingbird to me. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. Well. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Yeah, that would suck. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Like Mooncalf? I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as... beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! Ooh. They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sweet! I get to talk to centaurs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. And then you're gonna I'll send... let you know as soon as I have a plan. And then your owl's just gonna pop right up. Alright. Is that it? Is that... Alright, now I can go on to the next quest. So my relationship with Sebastian and Ominous are shot. But at least I'm saving magical creatures like this midget. And maybe I might get one for my vivarium. And then breed them so I can harvest their <laughs> feathers and eyes, I guess. I mean, I am doing it more ethically, to be fair. Oh, I gotta go all the way up there. Okay, yeah, so... I'm gonna go sell all my gears because I am halfway through my inventory. I could do some more Merlin trials, which I feel... I don't know, it's just a lot of busy work. I feel like they should just have me increase my 
my gear inventory or gear storage, which is by just leveling up. Because it feels kind of a lot of busy work for very little gain. All right. I keep forgetting about that. I can fly. Yeah, me. Coming right up. I mean, there's so many times where the, I want to fly and the game's like, oh no, you're on a particular quest where you're not allowed to fly. I'm like, so what am I learning fly for? Can't enter. See, this is what I'm talking about. You give me the ability to fly and you're not giving let me fly. I think it's... Yeah. Fine. I'll just use... The flu channel because you guys love that so much when I can just you know get here via broom because I've already gone the trouble of learning how to use a broom Man, I can't imagine there's any like wizards or witches that are you know fluffy because they have to do so much walking up and down Alright, there's a meet, and with that, I'm just going to end the session here, because that's all the time I have for tonight. My relationship with Sebi is kind of rickety, but then that goes for Ominous and everyone else in my house. Well, anyone that matters. Imelda doesn't count, because all she cares about is the whole flying thing, which hate the flying mechanic. Could do without. But anyways... That'll be all for now. We will continue the main quest finally in the next episode. Until next time, this is Zero Raptor signing off. Laters.